I'm John Riggins. Welcome, welcome <laughs> yeah. to, this, to this more <laughs> more than usual twisted John Riggins show. <laughs> Hey, I'm right, Red Farm and Hayes got nothing. Absolutely. I got Toa had headaches. Make me look bad. I mean, next year I'm not coming either. This has brought it to another level. Every week since we've been on the air, he's been in the news some way, shape, or form. Rhabdo, uh, rhabdomyo, what? Myolysis. Right. If you say it loud enough. The symptoms are general weakness, muscle stiffness, achiness, tenderness, fatigue and joint pain. Yeah, it sounds like I could have that stuff. <laughs> right. I got six out of six. Oh, you know, a bolt of lightning's gonna uh, hit Albert Hainsworth and he's gonna change who he is? It's not gonna happen. Great some of the time loses to good all the time. And you see, he's great some of the time, but he's not great all the time and he never has been. If you wanna get your point across, what does everybody do? You fire somebody. They've completely mismanaged this from the start, but that's still the only solution. Something's not right. He is going to leave the ball game. It's a flexor tendon in his forearm. He grimaced the twins. You're like, oh, oh my arm. It's broken. <laughs> the most likely Steven Strasburg is going to go on the disabled list. Shanahan said he had a headache. That's the sermon for today. The difference between pain and injury. If you have an injury, that's one thing, because now you're doing further damage to yourself. Sure. Pain is something that sometimes you just have to fight your way through. Every place you go, they're going to tell you we're a big family. It ain't no family, folks. It's a corporation. This is business. I caution the young athlete or any athlete to buy into the company. Because ultimately, you're an independent contractor. You got to take care of your product. Everybody's out looking for, him, looking out for himself. Everybody wants to get a piece of something. Most importantly, what was our, our little attendance? Oh, uh, uh, well, Lou Holder won this. Attendance extravagance. Lou Holder won this. The attendance for last night's game, gentlemen, seventeen thousand nine twenty-one. Lou Holder. Lou. Tell him what he wins, Johnny. I win a virtual steak dinner <laughs> from the John <laughs> yeah, actually, Show. You, you actually win a giant Belgian tomato grown in the garden, <laughs> John. Riggin. Just remember to have your pet spade neutered. Oh man, Badger, close your ears. Mike Rizzo, as I promised, dead or alive, he'll be here at 520, right? I got to give Bruce Allen and, and, you know, and Mike Shanahan and whoever else is involved in this credit that they have not given McNabb an extension. Are you still smiling yeah, with that smug smile because he's still going to get the extension? I am. Um, if this isn't some kind of a, you know, what do you call it, a, an omen, <laughs> easy guys, easy. Let's play a season here and see where we're at. The offensive line isn't exactly the hogs. The happiest man in this whole scenario is? Uh, Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell. Hit me! Right now, I'm very pleased to say that General Manager Mike Rizzo is joining the John Riggins Show. Let's start at the very top. Jim Riggleman, should we, you know, start having feelings for Jim, or will he even be here next year? <laughs> I, I like Jim. Jim's a, Jim's a consummate baseball guy. You know, he's a, he's what I affectionately call a baseball rat. You've got another guy that uh, you just inked a contract with, and I think people are very excited about him, Bryce Harbor, obviously. We're going to officially sign the contract in the next day or so, and uh, he's going to visit uh, D.C., and then he's, he's going to begin. His, uh, you know, his uh, minor league uh, career. Well, if he tears the cover off the ball in spring training, has he got a shot next year? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, you have some breaking news over here. I do. Here I go. Forty-four. What's there John any? Riggins, the greatest forty ever. He put on a clinic uh, in the BP cage today. Yeah. There's already a connection with the big guy and Bryce Harper that is taking the internet by storm. Bryce shows up with a mohawk. You Maybe know. I better pull Bryce aside and <laughs> have little, a word with him. Little say, fatherly well, so, advice. Yeah. Bryce, there's a couple ways you can do this. <laughs> I did it rough, I'm telling you. <laughs> welcome Mike Pereira to the John Riggin Show, former head of the NFL officials. Mike, welcome to the John Riggin Show. Hey John, good to be with you. Is there a specific trait that, you know, the best officials have? How does he react? Is he decisive? We don't care if he's wrong at this point because we'll teach him what is right. That's how I can tell whether a guy has it or not. There's another rule here, and I, I don't quite understand this one, the fair catch muff. Hey, John, this is a 
bad rule. I mean, this is a <laughs> bad rule. to hear rule. it from you. <laughs> the first time it happens, man, I'm going after this one. Dun, 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 dun. Roger Clemens to be arraigned on Monday. I'm an you know, expert when it comes to arraignment because, because you know, I just have to <laughs> maybe have some personal experience here. Just but, asking. <laughs> by the way, can I have your passport while you're here? Hey, where would he go that he wouldn't be recognized? I'd say Russia. He's got a good shot in Russia or China. They don't know who the hell he is over there. <laughs> At times it was difficult. He's such a wimp. Be who you are. Hard knocks. You saw it? I don't like Mark Sanchez. Win something first. Chad Ochocinco is even going more into mainstream. He is uh, now getting his own cereal. That I'm coming out with a uh, single malt. The Rigo. The Rigo. Rigo number seven. Rigo, no. Rigo number 44. Aged 44 seconds. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs>